It's the NFL on EA Sports. And we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the New York Jets and the Tennessee Titans. All that and more coming up next. It's just across the Cumberland River from those neon lights of Broadway, we welcome you inside Nissan Stadium here in Nashville. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here in the booth. Mario, these are a couple of teams that struggled a year ago, finished out of the playoffs. They were under 500, but that's what you love about the NFL. A new season brings renewed optimism. Absolutely, and really, Mike, a lot of new faces at critical places. I mean, there is a lot of new pieces to the puzzle here, both coaching staff and the roster of players. They believe last year is over. They do not think there is any correlation between the squad they're planning to put on the field today and that one that we saw really go through some growing pains and struggles just a year ago. So pleased to have you along. This should be a good one. We're set, and off we go here on EA Sports. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Well, the Jets come out with Aaron Rodgers, of course, all the buildup in 2023. It lasted all of four snaps, but the man is a legend. A Super Bowl champ, 10-time Pro Bowler, Greg, his 20th NFL season. I don't know about you, Mike, but my biggest takeaway from our meeting with him was just how important it is that they get off to a fast start. He made it very clear. They wanted to put their opponent on their heels right from the jump. So I think early in this game, they're going to come out swinging right from the opening whistle. Now the former first-round pick, Reese Hall. And he's going to be dropped behind the line. Terrific push defensively. They came out of the locker room ready to go. Mike, this defense talked all week about the importance of coming out fast and starting this game the right way. And it's less about the loss of yards there on that first play and more about just setting the tone. Hey, we're going to be here all day. We're bringing it. And boy, did they ever. Ooh. Tough to bring down. And somehow, he manages to get four yards out of that. They need eight as they come up for third down. In the shotgun, it's A-Rod. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. No matter what they told us, Mike, leading up to this game, they said it is so critical for us to find success, especially on third down. We want to maintain possession, extend these drives. Well, the first crack comes up, and they fail through the air, and... We have to regroup and be able to have better success throughout the remainder of this game. Here comes Jackson on the return. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. Titans coming up with their quarterback, Will Levis. Good performance last year. Taken early in that second round of the 2023 draft. Greg, this quarterback out of Kentucky could be the future for Tennessee. From a pure talent standpoint, this guy has everything you want in a franchise quarterback, Mike. I mean, the powerful arm paired with a quick release, and he's as tough as they come. But in order for him to take that next step, he needs to put it all together on a more consistent basis. I'm looking forward to seeing how he performs here in this one because after hearing him talk throughout the week, I think he has his sights set pretty high. What makes great linebackers stand out from the pack is their instincts and their vision. In this case, the linebacker has his keys, brings him right where the ball is going, and he's able to make a play at the point of attack and keep this to a no game. We'll try again here. Second and ten. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. Next to the former Jaguar and Falcon, Calvin Ridley. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside.
So from the 36, it is first and 10. He'll try the left side with Pollard. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. Coming off that edge, Mike, you have to quickly determine, is this a pass or is it a run? And once he realized it was a run, he's able to shed his blocker, make the play, no gain. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Again, it's Pollard. A nice pickup, moving it across the 40. We'll give him six on that play. Here's a third down and four. From the gun, it's Levis. He's got his tight end. That's a good play. He's curl routes. He's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football. And I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield and you stick that foot in the ground. Work back to the quarterback friendly to the ball and really nice job picking up the first down they go play action with Levis in middle and he's got Ridley and they're going to move this ball inside the 25 yard line well they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air and that's exactly what they wanted to do generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points They'll come up here first and ten. Out of the shotgun, Levis. His throw on first down is going to be incomplete. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances of picking up a key third down? What can they do here on third down and seven? Throwing is Levis. Connecting with his tight end, Okonkwo. And he's going to be taken down short of the marker. And that is going to set up an interesting fourth down decision. When you're willing to throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you know what that tells me, Mike? The decision to go for it on fourth down has already been made. If you're able to pick it up with yards after the catch, great. But if not, it's a fourth and short, and you give yourself a realistic shot of converting on this fourth down. And he's going to have that first down. They didn't want to settle for three, and now it's first and goal. And this is the blueprint, Mike. The ability to sustain and maintain possession and methodically move the ball down the field in the process. They've been in complete control. They've been able to dictate what they want to do offensively and make the defense react. And he will score. Will Levis. Touchdown, Titans. That is a heartbreaker for the defense. They took away what he wanted to do in the air, Greg, but that scrambling ability gets him to the end zone for the touchdown. And the reason he was able to take advantage with his legs here, Mike, is he made a fast decision realizing there was nowhere to go with the ball. The amount of guys the defense had in coverage took those passes away. He tucked the ball down, took advantage of the space, and he was able to take it all the way. Folks, that's the point. It's good. And the Titans will take a 7-0 lead. The 
kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Davis now to return it. And he's down at the 23, and that's where the offense will take over. The Jets offense ready to possess the football for the second time. They were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so down 7-0 as they get the ball back for first and 10. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. They're going to start this drive on the ground. It's Hall. And a strong first down run, a pickup of Knox. Setting up second and short. From the gun, Rogers. Got a man downfield. It's Wilson. Touchdown, Jets. Greg Zerline now for the point after. He's got it. And the Jets will tie things up at 7-7 here in the opening quarter. Seven apiece, and the kick's away. Now return, coming from the seven. And a decent return there. We'll get this up just shy of the 30. The Titans offense ready to take over for their second possession. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. Levis to throw. And it's caught by the man wearing zero. Alvin Ridley. And the Malcolm down just shy of the foot. Nice grab there by Ridley. And this is a unit that this Tennessee Titans offense has continued to search and build ever since the departure of A.J. Brown a few years back. And now with the signing of Calvin Ridley, a guy who has been a playmaker everywhere he's been. They're starting to put together a really nice receiving core down to Tennessee. They'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. Zone route running, Mike, is very simple, right? I mean, everyone wants to complicate offensive football and make it super technical. Once you come off the line of scrimmage after the ball is snapped and you know it's zone coverage, as long as it's sort of in the area the quarterback expects you to be, my rule was just run where they're not. And when he throws it, catch it. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend, so give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. 
Tennessee. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. But think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. So that might be his first target. I don't think it's going to be his last. From the gun, they'll give it. It's Powell. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of first down. A pickup of nine. This is one of those cases where having high-end speed in the backfield can be such a game-changer. The offensive linemen don't need to hold their blocks quite as long. You give this guy a little bit of a crease, and man, he is gone. Second down, he'll fake the handoff and hold on to it. The defense not fighting. They stay at home, stop the quarterback. No gain on the play. A lot of defense's strategy of defending the zone read, Mike, is we want that quarterback to pull the ball. It's one of their few chances throughout the course of the game where they can get their hits on them. And in this case, they're able to hold them to no gain. Look at this. They go with their tight end on third down. Marking right on the 15, and the march continues. That is a first down picked up on the ground. Is to Pollard running right. Can he get away? No, he's taken down behind the line. Good job by the defense with a negative play. All week long, they stress, Mike, that we have to get as many defenders to this ball carrier as possible. They know he's going to make some guys miss. He's going to be hard to get on the ground, but you can see the effect of rallying to the ball as it had here. They're able to take him down, and they're able to do it for a loss. A second down throw here for Levis. He's going to get it to Oconquo. Goes brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. Harris Evans on the scoreboard. We're back in Music City after this. Here's a third and ten. To throw is Levis. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. This drive has been methodical, but will they turn it into six points? It is first and goal. No handoff. They'll keep it himself. And he will do it himself. He's in. Will Levis. Touchdown, Tennessee. His second TD of the game. And this one gives his team the lead. And that is now a pair of rushing touchdowns. The quarterback giving it to them, Greg, with his legs in this one. And we're starting to see, Mike, why this week this coaching staff told us they're encouraging this guy to do this more often. His ability to be a passer but also a rusher is an element to this offense that is hard for defenses to account for. Folks, extra point is good. And the Titans will move out to a 14 to seven lead.
both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Davis now to return it. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. Garrett Wilson and the Jets offense now heading back onto the field. They trail now 14-7 as they'll come up for first and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. A throw left side there, not going to find the top. Incomplete. He was looking for Garrett Wilson there. And it'll be second down. Just a little bit too much juice on that one. And you just can't throw the ball out of bounds. Give your receiver a chance to go up and compete for the ball. But when you miss that far wide, he's got no shot. And he'll move this ahead for about four yards. Quandre Diggs there on the tackle. Here comes third and six. Looking to throw. It's Rodgers. He's got his man. Complete to Wilson. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive. But now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself in your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. They will run it over center with Hall. Seventeen yards on that play. And the Jets have a first down. Second and short. Normally, this is a great time, Mike, to put the ball in the air and try to press the ball downfield. But in this case, they keep it on the ground. It has a similar effect. They pick up a good game and a first down. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. A throw left side taken in by Corley. We hear the term RPO so often, Mike, and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL. But remember, it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game where it's a lot more prevalent. The lineman cannot go downfield. So that quarterback has to make a lot of really fast, snapshot decisions or else it's going to lead to a penalty or him holding on to the ball too long so it's something that teams want to implement but maybe not quite to the level that we see in the college game first time these two have connected this afternoon and it'll wind up being a first down play fake it's Rodgers. To the end zone. It's intercepted. So much of that play comes down to the defender's position. Being able to get himself to a spot to get his hands on the ball and a chance at that pick. Mike, that ball was thrown. Me and you are sitting here saying, that's a touchdown. And instead, they force a turnover, and now their offense is back on the field. Out comes the Tennessee offense. They get set to see what they can do. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. Levis. 
Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. So the hope is, when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on him early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. Now here's a keeper on his own route. And he's going to get the first down. He is up past the 35-yard line. Sometimes, Mike, the best plan is also the simplest plan. And for this team, just snap the ball to your quarterback, let him find some daylight, and go get that first down himself. Levis to throw on first and 10. This one complete to Ridley. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Here's Levis to throw. He'll again get it to Ridley. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver. Pick up a first down. Levis to throw it here on first down. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. The pass protection's been a little bit shaky at times, and that was the case there. And even though they're not going to go down for allowing a sack, it was allowing the pressure that ultimately prevented that pass from being completed. Hopkins sent in motion. On second down, Levis. That one complete. It's Tyler Boyd. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Nice grab there by Boyd. And I think it was really smart of the Titans and how they pursued this, Mike. I mean, think they put him together with his former offensive coordinator, Brian Callahan, all in hopes that the two of them can help Will Levis take that next step in his development. The motion man is Bull. They fake the jet sweep and give it up the middle. And he'll get about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Levis. And the rush gets home. He'll go down. They got him. The big fella, Quinn Williams, forcing his way in for the sack. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, but now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. From the gut, it's Levis. Taking off, he'll try to get there. And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn into a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. Folks' kick is good. And the Titans build their cushion to 10. It's now 17 to 7. So it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive, but at the same time, you don't want to come away empty-handed either. So in this case, they'll take those three points. The 
kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Davis now to return it. And he'll work this one past the 25, so right about the 28-yard line. The Jets offense and receiver Garrett Wilson getting set for their next drive. And it may be time for this defense to start throwing a second defender at him, maybe? Look at what he's done. Whatever the defense has tried the first half, it hasn't worked. Set to go now on first and ten. From the shotgun, it's A-Rod. Going left side, and it's taken in by Williams. Here's a second and six. Rogers to throw. The ball deflected at least a couple of times. A new ball to the ground. It's incomplete. He just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time, but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. We see teams more and more throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, really for two reasons. One, they're confident that they can pick up the first down with yards after the catch. Two, team's willingness to go for it on fourth down is at an all-time high. A fair catch signal, and they'll have it just outside their own 20. The Titans offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. Their lead is 10. They go back to work trying to add to it. It begins with first down. Just a yard. Two minutes to go here. Till halftime. We're back to Nashville. In a moment. Here's a second and nine. Out of the shotgun. Levis. A throw there on second down. Going to be incomplete. Timing and trust, critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. Third down and nine. Now Levis. And on third down, that ball incomplete. Mike, you can see these offenses, and it looks like the passing game gets a little bit too predictable. And as the defense continues to flood the back end of these zones with extra defenders, they're continuing to force this quarterback to not only make some difficult throws, but to put the ball in harm's way. Here's Gibson to return, and he'll be brought down. Short return, and they'll take over there. The Jets offense headed back to take over once more. They'll start out first down and ten. From the gun, Roger. Over the middle. That's Corley. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Come to the line now. 
on second and two. On play action, Rodgers. That's right side and brought in by Williams. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. First down for Aaron. That one taken in by Corley. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Again, it's Rodgers. This complete to Corey. And he's out of bounds in great shape. Down at the 15-yard line. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. Halftime is looming, so the athletic training staff we get a chance to look him over during the break. Line of scrimmage is the 15. It's first and 10. They'll throw again. Here's Rodgers. A lot of chances on that one. It was bouncing around, but it falls incomplete. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a gotta-have-it best play call. He'll get about six before he's taken down. Here's a third down and four. Rogers going up top again. He's got it at the three. And he'll take it on in. Mike Williams. Touchdown, New York. Now Zerline for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Jets are back to within a field goal. It's first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Titans offense and quarterback Will Levis ready for their next possession. He's had things all his way in the first half. Those numbers are sensational. He looks to add to him with another drive here. Here's first and ten. To throw is Levis. To the left side in the hands of Bull. They'll come up here on second down and five. 
Here's Levis. Back caught Tony Pollard. 11 yards on the pass there. That's good for a Titan first down. We see this week in and week out, Mike. These running backs in today's game, they really have the skill set of a wide receiver. So if you're going to guard him one-on-one -on -one, and you know the offense is going to use him in the passing game, you better have that guy. You better have that matchup guy that you're confident to put on him and say, okay, you're going to go out there in space and defend a receiver like this. And after plays like that, I'm not sure how much more man coverage they can afford to play. Here's second and six. Here's Levis. He's going to get it to Okonkwo. And the whistle him down, but not before he picks up the first down after a gain of seven. play action with Levis. That one, oh, it's on target, but it goes as an incompletion. Looks like he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. Oftentimes, it's the wide open ones that are the hardest to catch. It seems like the ball is in the air forever. You start overthinking it, you start really making more of it than what you should, and you let it slip away. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver they knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Tony Pollard, the intended receiver, out of the backfield. And it's going to be third down. Hopkins sent in motion. From the gun on third down, here's Levis. Looking middle, and he's got Ridley. And the offense will elect to burn a timeout. Five seconds remaining in this second quarter. Nick Folk now on with the field goal unit. This is going to be from 53 yards out. He is two for two. That kick is good and the titans can attack on three more extending the lead here late in the first half So, two seconds left to play, and the kick's away. And this one is fielded in the end zone. Will not be returned. So, we'll come out to the 30. First and 10. Rodgers now. And that is incomplete. One final chance does not work out. Time has expired. The first half has come to an end. All right, Michael, thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown Orlando studios and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments. And it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. Okay, Coach, thanks a bunch. We'll see which team's adjustment's going to pay dividends here. Mike is going to play a big role in who wins this one. Third 
quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. On the return, here's Tajay Spears. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. The Titans offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. The tight end Okonkwo is in motion. Levis to throw on first and ten. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes and that ball falls incomplete. He's taken down, but just shy of midfield. Pollard with a nice first down run, and the Memphis native returns to Tennessee after an impressive five-year stint with the Cowboys. He's coming off two consecutive 1,000-yard seasons, and he should be a huge part of the solution and part of filling the hole left by Derrick Henry. They give to Pollard on the option. They keep feeding him. 15 more on the ground. And another first down. This is where you have to be careful, Mike. You find yourself winning in the second half. Human instinct says, all right, let's just sit on the ball and protect the lead and let the clock run out. You can't do that. Stay aggressive. Do what got you here. Continue to mix the run with the pass. Keep your foot on the gas and try to extend this lead. Left side into the hands of Hopkins. That's 13 more on that play. And quickly, another first down. On play action, here's Levis. Johnson, the former first-round pick, in there to bring him down. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. From the gun, it's Levis. Open man is Hopkins. And get about six before he's taken down. Third and long. Here's Levis to throw. And the rush gets there. He'll be tracked down. Really nice sack there by Reddick, and I feel like we've said that time and time again over these last couple seasons. He just continues to improve. Big reason why the Jets went out and traded for him this past offseason from Philadelphia. The hope is that he can take their defense to another level, and so far, he appears to be doing just that. Nick Folk now on with the field goal unit. This one from 54 yards out. Three for three in the game as this one is also good. And the Titans will extend their third quarter lead. So anytime an offense comes off the field after settling for three, 
You always have to take the good with the bad. In order to get down there in field goal range, you had to do something positive to move the ball. But at the same time, how are we going to be able to finish these drives and convert for six the next time we get down there? Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Set to return is Xavier Gibson. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Jets offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half. They trail here by a couple of scores. The margin is none as this drive starts with first down. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. Quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. He was looking for Malachi Corley, and it'll lead to a second down. Again, here's Hall, and he'll only manage to pick up three yards, and that leads to third down. the shotgun it's a rock that's taken in by Conklin the tight end a gain of 17 yards good for a Jets first down third down is when we see so many tight ends around the league really make their money they operate in the middle of the field they're a big easy target for the quarterback and even if they are covered Mike they're not really ever covered Here comes Hall. Finding space inside the 40. And he'll be out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. 25 yards, the pick up there. And the Jets have a first down. The challenge of playing a running back like this is you feel like you have him under control. You're doing a nice job putting a lid on him. And then all of a sudden, he's got a big spark play like this. That's the challenge. These guys are just so talented. You can only keep them down so long. That was a really nice run. They face second down and seven. Rodgers to throw. Inside the 10, it is caught. And he's very close to a touchdown. They mark him just shy of the goal line. Talk about a thing of beauty. Mike, did you see how many tight ends were on the field on that last play? They call it 13 personnel because there's one running back, three tight ends, one wide receiver. So everybody on defense is thinking run. They catch him off guard a little with the pass, and they take advantage of it in a big game downfield. They'll run, it's Hall. A good blocking, and he's in. Reese Hall, touchdown, New York. A lot of big bodies down there, but at the end of the day, the one that mattered, the one with the ball, finds the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, and once that back gets the ball, Mike, he's just looking for a little crack of daylight, and he's thinking, I'm going to run into it and just hope I come out the other side. And in this case, the other side's the end zone, and they get six. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. It's up and through. And the Jets will cut it to a two-point lead.
our kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. This field in at about the nine. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Keeps the field position to start this drive. Tony Pollard heading out with the rest of his Tennessee teammates for their next drive. The lead is two, and they're going to try to make something happen here, starting with a first and ten. Out of the shotgun, Levis. This throw, right side, taken in by Ridley. And the mountain down, just shy of the 40. I can't tell you, Mike, how many of these offensive skill players around the league, they look at man coverage as like a personal offense. They, they, they can't imagine that a defensive coordinator would say, hey, we're just going to have one guy defend you all by himself. And after that last completion on the way back to the hoe, I think he had a few choice words for him. I think he said, hey, man, you can't guard me one-on-one. -on -one. You better ask your coach for some help. Because if he doesn't, you're going to be in for a long day. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Levis. A throw left side but it's going to wind up incomplete. Just seems like another case of predetermining where the quarterback is going to go with the ball. He had a lot of good route options on that last concept. I think if he just remains a little bit more patient, read the play out, let it unfold, will lead to some easier and better completions. Pressure gets there, and down he goes. This is what you don't want to see out of your quarterback. As that pocket starts to collapse, the good ones, they can keep their eyes downfield and feel the rush. They don't need to see the rush. Here, his eyes go down. He starts moving around the pocket. Nowhere to go with the ball, and they bring him down for a sack. the Titans punting unit comes out to the field as he'll punch it away for the second time and he'll get a few yards on this return up past the 15 yard line so now Rodgers and the Jets ready to take over once more and he has been in control of this offense want to run you through some of the action from earlier on We've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. From the gun, Rodgers. That's thrown right side, but incomplete. Mike Williams, the one he was looking for. And it'll bring up second down. At this level, you just would expect a little bit better execution and accuracy on those intermediate throws. I think he had an opportunity there for a nice pickup. Off target, off rhythm, and ends up getting away from him. A short run taken in by Conklin. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. 
He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Hey, Rod, down to throw on first down. That one, oh, it's on target, but it goes as an incompletion. Looked like he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. So the receiver does everything right, except for the most important part. He runs a nice route, great, great separation downfield, and now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. Second down, Rodgers. Over the middle, that's Corley. And they bring him down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. Nice play here by Malachi Corley, the young rookie wide receiver, and something we're going to continue to see out of him as the rest of the year unfolds is Mike he has such a knack for turning short throws into long gains and his ability to be a ball carrier after the catch it's really what separates certain guys from others in this league and for a young player to have that innate kind of sense to be a ball carrier find any ways you can get him the ball screen smokes bubbles doesn't matter get the ball in his hands and usually good things happen Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. To get this complete, it's Williams over the middle. Look him up on a second down and eight. To the air once more, it's Rodgers. Was brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Rogers going up top again. That one on target to Williams. He's got it. Offensively, landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Again, it's Rodgers. A throw left side taken in by Corley. That's to the sideline and taken in by Wilson. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless. So Brian Callahan reaches for the flag, and this will be challenged. At issue, was he able to stay in bounds? The NFL rules, you're looking for either two feet or a body part that is not a hand to be down with possession of the ball. No bobbling, the ball not moving around. He has control. So that's what the referee is looking at here. So the challenge there, unsuccessful, and it will remain a completed pass. They'll come up here first and ten. Here's Rogers. Pass on right side by Conklin. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. Rodgers. There's a throw right side. Going to be incomplete. And that sideline just cannot believe their guy did not come down with that play. I mean, that's as easy as it gets. 
You frankly don't blame him. I mean, that's a play at this level. You just have to make. Your teammates are dependent on On third down, Rodgers. In the middle, and he's got his man complete. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. So, three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So they move inside the 20, first and 10 at the 18. They'll stick to the ground. Not much happening there, just a short game. Here's second and nine. And that is it. All the qualities that make a good safety are seen on display on this play. Speed, pursuit, and then the intensity and the strength at the point of contact for the tackle. To keep this ball carrier to no gain, that is a complete safety play. A throw left side taken in by Wilson. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, corral them, take him down short of the sticks. So now, big spot for the veteran Greg Zerlock. This to take the lead here in the fourth. And this one right down the middle. It's good. And they take the lead here in the fourth quarter. And this has been such a tight game, but that's a big one right there. I mean, you need a kicker with confidence. Well, this guy, he fits the bill. He steps up and knocks it through to give his guys a lead here in the fourth quarter. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Spears now to return it. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The whole team's offense starting to try it out for this next possession. The deficit is one as they'll search now for that go-ahead score. sent in motion Levis to throw it here on first down there's that man again another catch he's close to a first down to gain a nine nice pitch and catch on first down second and a yard play fake. It's Levis. Who else? Another pass for his big return. 13 yards on that pass play. First down for Tennessee. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. DeAndre Hopkins was the intended target for that one. And it'll bring up second down. You know, there's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. A second down throw here for Levis. That's hard. It's Hopkins. 
And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. When a defense has speed to the ball like this group does, it makes these wide receiver screens really challenging because all those fast linebackers and defensive backs that are chasing the ball carrier, the offensive line are the ones responsible for them, and sometimes that's just a speed mismatch, and they can't get out in front. And this ball incomplete on third down. I think he predetermined that third down throw, and even though the coverage was tight, he still tried to fit the ball in there anyway, and it ended up falling incomplete. I think if he goes through his progressions and has a little bit more trust in his protection, I think there's an easier throw to make out there. And that one not placed as well as he had hoped. It's all the way into the end zone for a touchdown. Brees Hall making his way back out there as the Jets are on offense again. And it's hard to believe you could run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, the stats. It has all been on display throughout. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's A-Rod. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. It's always a risky decision anytime a quarterback tries to force the ball, especially into those tightly contested areas. Not a lot of daylight, not a lot of room for error. In this case, it just falls simply as an incomplete. But as this game unfolds, better decisions are going to lead to better results. And it'll be taken down up past the 40-yard line. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super concerned. Just hand off right, hand off left, and it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately just run the clock and he's down on the other side of midfield. Mark him at the 48-yard line. Not every pass has to be thrown downfield. You can rely on the run after catch, especially a big body like this tight end. Get the ball in his hands early and let him pick up the rest after the catch. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. Throw left side, but that's going to be incomplete. Brees Hall, the intended receiver. And that will lead to a second down. There was no hesitation from the quarterback. From the jump, he knew where he wanted to go with that ball, but still leads to an incompletion. They're just still not quite on the same page. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Seemed to me from up here, Mike, that he really locked in on that guy. He told himself, I'm going to give my guy a chance to go compete for this ball. And anytime he enters such a crowded area, it usually means if he works through his progression, there's an easier throw somewhere on the field. Instead, he tries to fit it in and just wasn't able to quite make the completion. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. So this is a part of the game that everybody works on, Mike. They call it four-minute offense. You don't necessarily have to have four minutes on the clock, but the whole idea is we possess the ball late in the fourth quarter with the lead. The goal is we want to end the game with the ball. So that third down conversion is going to go a long way. Protect the ball, continue to pick up first downs. If they do that, I don't even think their opponent sees the ball again. Second and seven. They're trying to burn some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And then we start that at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. 
you can just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground, Mike. There was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. This crowd into it now as we get to third down. Another run here with Hall. So now, big spot for the veteran Greg Zerlon. This to stretch the lead to more than a field goal. And this one, right down the middle. It's good. So it is still a one-score game, but a little more breathing room now. kickoff team is out of the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Spears now to return it he'll work his way across the 25 yard line the home team sends offense and receiver Calvin Ridley set to take over for this drop the trail by four touchdown gives him the lead drive begins with first and ten On second down, left. Looking middle, and he's got Ridley. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. They'll keep it on the ground. Ooh. Pick up on the 11 yards on that one. That's good for a Titan first down. There's a big conversation going on right now around the NFL about what is the true value of having a run game. And I've always thought it comes down to being good at three situations. Can you run the ball in the fourth quarter with a lead? How well can you run the ball on the goal line? And then in this case, how well can you run the ball in short yardage situations? That game with his tight end, Okonkwo. He's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. Little play action with Levis. And a good there defensively it's knocked away and incomplete can't exactly put my finger on it but it just seems like this entire game like this passing game and this quarterback specifically they've just been off and whether it's missing these big shots downfield like he did there or just simple underneath layups there's just something about him today that doesn't look right and I think it's a big part of the reason they find themselves trailing here in the fourth quarter and he will have the Titans first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert on third and one. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. This throw right side taken in by Ridley. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. 
I'd like to see them do a better job here the rest of the game, Mike, just disguising the coverage from the pre-snap look to the post-snap look. And, and what I mean is, when you have a quarterback at this level, and what they see before the ball's in their hands is the exact same thing they see once they do get the ball, everything is just so much easier for them to process. Change the look, change the coverages, move your safeties, make the quarterback have to process with the ball in his hand. Here we go, first and goal. They'll drop to throw. That one, take it in. Calvin Ridley, touchdown Titans. Now this, an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. An important extra point up and good, so the lead is three here in the late stages of the game. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Davis now to return it. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The visitors' offense and Aaron Rodgers getting ready to go once more. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes generally one step ahead of the defense all game long here's first and ten from the gun Rogers and he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on that's incomplete this is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think like they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. This is a great example here of just not getting too complicated as an offensive coordinator. Who's one of your best players on the field, and how do you get the ball in his hands? Crowd noise rises. Big play here. Third and one. He's got his man. Complete to Wilson. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. A first down throw from Rodgers. to the 20-yard line. Final minute, still two timeouts remaining as we get to first and 10. Play fake. It's Rodgers. And it's complete to the sideline. Nice job. Getting both feet down in bounds. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, 
and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in balance. This one caught at the floor. And this is a touchdown. They were not going to be denied. And they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play. Mike, we used to have a saying that it was the responsibility of the receiver to run the route through the eyes of the quarterback. And I think this is a great example here. Two guys clearly on the same page. Quarterback expected his target to be in a certain place at a certain time. He's there. Ball's delivered accurately. He's able to pick up the rest with his legs. And that's a big-time connection for the touchdown. Extra point try now for Zerlock. It's up and good. And the Jets have taken a four-point advantage. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Spears now to return it. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The home team's offense ready to take over possession of the football. They'll begin with first and 10. Out of the shotgun, Levis. He's going to get it to the punt ball. And they'll bring him down, but not until he gets to the 38 yard line. Here's a timeout, Tennessee. It'll be their second as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in this one. Final minute, one timeout remaining. And it's first and ten. From the gun, it's Levis. Now his receiver on the impact is gone. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. This is first and ten. Now Levis. They go sideline and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. The best guys I've been around, like they have a sense where they can see the ball, but they can feel the sideline. And that's kind of an innate sense that these guys have that allows them to concentrate and secure the catch and ensuring that both feet remain in balance. Here's first down. To throw is Levis. To the sideline, and what a catch, and what a great job to keep the feet alive. Inbounds as good as you can do it. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. Well, they certainly aren't wasting any time marching down the field. I mean, you only need one hand to count how many plays they've run, and yet they find themselves first and goal inside the low red zone. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. And it's incomplete. That's one he'd love to have back. An opportunity to score six was right there for the taking. Just wasn't quite meant to be. Second and goal. To throw is Levis. That is incomplete. So the task gets more difficult. Time for maybe two plays. That's it. 
you can feel them starting to press a little bit, especially with this passing game. They find themselves so close to the end zone. They got to get it over the goal line. You got to be a little bit more accurate. You got to be a little bit smarter with the ball. And right now, the timing, the spacing, it's just not matching up. That's going to be incomplete, so no help there. And we're likely down to a final snap. Great job there defensively separating the man from the ball. And this is the moments in the game where you need your best players to step up. And this guy's showing what he's capable of doing in the game's critical moment. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. And that is incomplete. They had their chance. He took it there. Look, they're trailing late. Got to let it fly. This will wind up a turnover on down. What a stand there. Fourth and goal, game on the line. It looks like this offense is putting together a game-winning drive, and the defense comes out with the stop of the day. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So this one, a win for the visiting Jets. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. In the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. That is the difference in this one.